This is a book review of, if you can actually see it, science fiction fantasy horror, The World of Forrest J. Ackerman at auction. This is the auction catalogue and at Guernsey's. So when was this auction? Well, it was back in 1987 and I love auction catalogues. So I'm, I'm a keen fan. Now this is just brilliant auction catalogue. Lots and lots of brilliant examples of science fiction posters, books, obviously Frazetta there, Things to Come, H.G. Wells poster, and there's obviously some colour. Most of it's in black and white. A bit of colour at the start. The Thrill Book, that was a very, very early, like weird tales, but super early. So some great examples here. You've also got size, condition, calendar of events. You've also got some lovely Forrest J. Ackerman, of course, amazing fan of science fiction, collected enormous amounts of material and a little bit about him there. Steven Spielberg's in it, Paul Linden, Ray Bradbury, Stephen King, and you've got a range of different things, books, manuscripts, manuscripts going from Amazing Stories and Fantastic, magazines, costumes and artifacts, L. Ron Hubbard, etc. So it just run through it. You've got the pricing. So you've got the various, this one's Saturday manuscripts. You've got an example of the manuscripts, as well as some, obviously, the pricing and a little bit about it. Again, some more manuscripts, more manuscripts. And now there's some of these are, you know, John W. Campbell. This one, Long After Midnight by Ray Bradbury, the illustrated man. And so it's got really good examples of some classics. Obviously, uh, in this, it had Skylark of Space, Star Trek episodes, and L. Ron Hubbard. Got there, examples of lots of masks, more masks. Also, obviously, People, various Tarzan, Tarzan the Apes, various posters, even the robot from Metropolis or Android. Frank Frazetta, we've got Boris Vallejo, Josh Kirby, Girard, artworks. So you've got lots of examples of the artwork. This book's slightly confusing the way it does it because you've got like C38, and if you quickly go down C38, sometimes it references something that was about two or three pages later. You've got some brilliant examples of various posters, uh, artwork, of course. Some of the prices are massive. I am certain the prices are even greater now because obviously Frank Frazetta, The Barbarian, it's got quite a big section all about it. This was the oil painting that was in the paperback book uh, for 1965, Lancer Publications. And you've got lots of sketches, drawings, star dates, more drawings, more drawings. The Unicorn Dancer. Never heard of it. But some brilliant examples all the way through. And of course, that's the prices. $400. I'm certain people would say, I would love it to be $300 now. Probably $10,000 or $30,000. $40,000. Then you've got some books. So you've got just a great selection of books. You've got Dune, Dante's Inferno. Obviously not first edition of that one. That would be weird. Quite possible. Tanar, Tarzan, Tarzan the Invincible, Tarzan the Lion Man, Pirates, Venus, Salem's Lot, obviously many of these first editions, it says first edition for lots of these, and it's got a condition, and so you've just got some great, just the, all the covers, just pictures of Thin Ghost and others, M.R. James, Dracula, by a certain Bram Stoker. I, never, I wonder what happened to that one. Anyway, probably did quite well. Weapon Makers by A. Van Vock. Vock? Poe? I don't know. First Men in the Moon, H.G. Wells. Hey, experiments in Autobiography. Again, first issue. Then you've got some lovely examples of like, weird tales, weird tales, wonder stories. I love those. Now, I've got some copies of those. And <laughs> mine fall to pieces. They're really battered battered copies, um, but these look perfect condition. Astounding, haven't got any, oh, because I have one copy. Got the brilliant 1941. Amazing Stories Quarterly, Science Invention, Oriental Stories, lots of magazines that you just would find very hard to find. Posters, you've got the, poster, and I love this because if you're sort of interested in science fiction films, it's great. Atomic Man, Black Hawk, wow, Black Hawk, the quali obviously quality comics or DC comics, Black Friday, 
Atomic Monster, The Canterville Ghost, those sort of things. Dr. Cyclops, Death from a Distance. Some of these turn up on uh, Talking Pictures TV channel in the UK. Brilliant films. Indestructible Man, This Island Earth, obviously a famous one. Things to Come. I mean, some of these, Morrison's Faust, A Daughter of Pan. I expect some of these probably don't exist as films anymore, sadly. They might do. No idea. But some of the really early ones of silence probably have long gone, sadly. And so you've got just poster after poster. Just this book is a really written, it's about 160 odd pages of brilliant now. <laughs> don't know why I'm showing that because it's just hard to see. But it's a really decent little auction catalogue with lots of science fiction examples of posters, books, etc.